Greetings everyone. Today we have a DigiKey package to open here. This is kind of a disjointed, no real subject type video. Yeah, I'll get back to the audio electronics soon enough. But I want to do this unboxing and talk about a few things. First of all, thanks a lot. I hit 20,000 subs week or so ago so really appreciate that my channel growth has not been really good lately uh, earnings is, are not really good either I think around this time of year the advertisers don't put a lot of money into ads and uh, therefore you're not going to make a lot on your views plus you know, you really need to put up two or three videos a week to get anywhere. And, you know, I've tried that. I just cannot keep up with that amount, that quantity of videos. It's just a lot of effort to put in. Plus now, uh, you know, a lot of these videos take time. And with the new camera, I'm moving to 1080p. Uh, all my previous videos were shot at 720, so it takes a little longer to edit and all that stuff. I uh, apologize for the air conditioner running in the background, that's the noise you hear. It's uh, very hot, we're in a kind of a heat wave right now in the Midwest. And of course in the Midwest when you get heat you get humidity, it gets really uncomfortable. So we have that going on. Before I open this, uh, I'll show you around my room. Here, my bench. I don't think I've ever did a real good video of what my back room here looks like. See, am I zoomed out all the way? Yeah, I think so. Got to refocus the camera. But this room is kind of a back room added onto the house. And, uh,. Yeah, don't expect nice, clean housework or anything back here. I don't really do housework. I might sweep the floors once a month. But yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty messy back here. If I step back, you can see my bench. Um, there's the computers. kind of a minimalist I'm getting rid of stuff when I move out of this house I'm not gonna take a lot with me I mean yeah all my audio my computers and my electronics yeah absolutely but I have a lot of ratty old furniture um, and that stuff's not gonna go with me and yeah I just don't need a lot of material possessions I know younger people, they want to build up a lot of uh, material things, but that, that stuff really doesn't buy you happiness. You know, keeping up with the Joneses, so away with it. Here's the noisemaker furnace. This is kind of like a utility room, what it is. You have the washer dryer hot water heater yep that is clean clothes and what I do is I don't put my clothes away I just run them through the washer and dry them and throw them in there and just get them out as I needed so you might need to open up my yeah I guess we're okay with the aperture and people who asked about these speakers yes I will make a video on these gonna do all the speakers that I have actually I'd like to get rid of these I just have no use for them they're excellent for making bass I'll tell you that they are big and they take up room and I don't really need them this is my TV set I don't watch a lot of TV this TV can go oh, the air conditioner just turned off Anyhow, I can go for a few days without even turning this on. It's just a 24-inch 
um, full HD TV and you know there's no money in selling it so I you know just keep it and just a chair actually Snickers is taking it over but now this is the shot out the back yeah, not much to see but yep yeah, that is a tour around my back room here where I shoot all my videos okay getting into the DigiKey unboxing one little tip about shipping with DigiKey is if you're in the U.S., I would use first-class mail if you think your package will be light enough. And this box here, with all of its contents, is 9.75 ounces, which is 277 grams. And that is within the limits of first-class. I can't remember. I think it's like 13, 13 or 14 ounces maximum. Uh, you can ship first class. Otherwise, you know, it'll cost you more. First class usually gets here pretty quick. You know, I've ordered something on Monday and it was, it showed up on Wednesday morning. That's pretty quick, uh, given the distance that it comes. Sometimes it, it might take four days, but uh, buying first class, it's almost as fast as priority mail and it only costs like three dollars and 75 cents or something otherwise you're gonna pay nine or ten bucks for the next step up so yeah just a tip you know most electronic components are small and pretty light okay well let's get into this thing and see what little items I have purchased this time around. I usually buy from DigiKey several times a year. You know, you know you're going to get decent quality components as opposed to the Chinese fakery things. And they pack pretty well. Okay, first batch of components are a bag of capacitors. I needed eight, but I bought ten because at ten you get the first price break and it ends up being very close in value. So I got these capacitors here and they're Panasonic, uh, 330, 25 volt. These are for an upcoming amplifier build. I'm going to have um, the entire amplifier will have eight of these things. It'll be like a dual mono type amplifier. And I'm going to use these uh, LM 1875 boards. I put my own components on instead of the ones that comes with. You know, the chip. I bought the chips at DigiKey, the other parts came from DigiKey. Uh, these are high quality metal film. They're not those cheap Chinese ones. The resistors there. So yeah, we're going to do an amplifier build. I don't know when, but it's coming. I gotta figure out the uh, case I'm gonna put the amplifier in. So that's the capacitors, that's probably what weighed the most. Uh, what do we have here? We have to open them. Stand by. Oh, these are the BC337-40 suffix high gain transistors. Uh, I have some, but I was running low on stock. These are just general purpose. Great for microcontroller projects. They have high gain. They're very cheap. These are one microfarad 63 volt film caps. 
So, yeah, just needed some more of those. Next up, got to open these package real quick. Oh, these are uh, FJP 1943. They're neat little audio grade transistors. They're actually the same transistor as the, I think it's 2SA 1943. Very high quality linear, gain linear audio output transistors. They're a lot cheaper if you can get them in the TO220 package. However, since this package cannot dissipate as much heat, they're uh, derated for power dissipation. But they're great to tinker with on the bench. So yeah, I would recommend those. And... Oh, here's the compliment. The uh, FJP 5200. Like uh, 15 or 17 amps. Yeah. 250 volt, 17 amp. But it's in the uh, TO220. So I think it's limited to 80 watts dissipation. Whereas uh, the TO264 package, I believe it is version of this transistor dissipates a lot more. It's like 150 or something like that. So in other words, oh, there goes the air conditioner. So in other words, it's the same die they're using in these transistors, just a smaller package and much cheaper. And the next item here, I think this is it. Yep. something I've been looking for for quite a while. These are blue-green clear 5 millimeter LEDs. In other words, they're the cyan type color. These are kind of hard to find. You don't really see them that much around. I have some, but they're older and they're not as bright. And I will... Uh, oh, here, let me show you. Well, let me talk about these a little bit more at the end of the video. It's kind of like a traffic light green color, I guess. You might even use them for that purpose. I don't know. So yeah, that is the DigiKey order. Okay, here is the Aqua LEDs. Kind of a traffic light green color actually I would say. I have it hooked up on this board here and um, only running it at 5 milliamps. These are extremely bright. Just what the doctor ordered. They're shining it back there. You can see have the bright bench light on but yeah only 5 milliamps. These things are really really bright. Pretty darn impressive. Most impressive. Here's the information on these LEDs if you're interested in buying some. By the way, that same company also makes some of the brightest LEDs I've ever seen. Oops, let me get a focus on that. These three millimeter they come in white, red, green, blue, and amber. And these things are the brightest LEDs I've ever seen. I did a video on them a long time ago, so I'm not going to get much into those. But another type of LED that I haven't seen very often is orange. And this company called King Bright makes 3 millimeter orange LEDs and they are very bright as well. Now I'll give you a quick sample of that here. Okay I have the orange three millimeter LEDs hooked up. 
The one on the left is the King Bright. The one on the right is one from eBay. If I shine them over here against the edge, wires are kind of in the way, but you can see the one on the right is not nearly as bright. The other one just swamps it out. It's just so much brighter. So there you go. If you're looking for a high brightness LEDs of odd colors like orange and the traffic light green, blue green color, that's where you can find them. That's it for this. Thanks for watching.